Hi, Seth Shostak here, astronomer at the SETI Institute. Well, it's 2020. I'm not talking about my vision, which is not 2020, but I'm talking about, well, a new year. And we already have some interesting uh, results from the TESS uh, instrument. TESS, T-E-S-S, -S, stands for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, but it's a lot easier to say TESS. Now, TESS has been up there for about a year and a half, trying to find planets sort of the size of the Earth around nearby stars. And you may say, well, why? And the answer to that is, if they're nearby and they're kind of like the Earth, they're not only interesting, I mean, they might have life, but also they're close enough that follow-up observations can be made with other telescopes to try and find out whether these planets really have things like atmospheres and oceans and so forth. Well, last week uh, in Honolulu at the American Astronomical Society meeting, there was an announcement that TESS has found its first, more or less, Earth-sized planet around a star and is in the habitable zone. Now, what's the habitable zone? Yeah, you're probably thinking, I don't know, the suburbs? What's the habitable zone? No, the habitable zone is that distance from the star where you could have liquid oceans that are neither frozen all the time or boiling all the time. Okay, so they found this thing around a star, which is about 100 light years away. The name of the star, TOI 700, really rolls off the tongue. Now, what does that mean, TOI? TESS Object of Interest, kind of understated. So, TESS Object of Interest 700, that star, it turns out it had been misclassified. It's actually a, a kind of a runty little star, what's called a red dwarf. So it's, you know, it's only maybe uh, 70, 80% the size of the sun, and it's only about half the temperature. So if you were on the surface of that star, not that I recommend that, it would be kind of the melting point of molybdenum, right? That's more or less the temperature. But this planet is pretty close to the star. It orbits every 37 days, something like that. And being so close, it, it gets more of the star's output, and the temperatures there are probably comparable to what you have in your own hometown. So they found this planet, it's only slightly larger than Earth, maybe, you know, 20% larger than the Earth, the right temperature around a star 100 light years. All right, what are we going to do? Well, there'll be follow-up observations, observations surely in the next decade, maybe much sooner, uh, to try and see if there's an atmosphere or something like that there. But it is kind of exciting. One last thing, don't book your ticket to go to TOI 700D, as this planet is named, because being 100 light years away means it's going to take you mm, about 2 million years in a rocket ship to get there. That's a little bit long.